So you might be trying to figure out how you can transfer your text messages from your Android device to your iPhone. Now, doing this is actually very, very basic, and it really doesn't take too much time at all. Now, this is how to do it between Samsung Androids and iPhones. I think this may work also with Google Pixels. All you're going to want to do is download and use the Samsung Smart Switch application. Now, this already comes built in within your Android phone, within Samsung's. So you want to go ahead and make your way over to the Samsung Smart Switch application inside of your one phone right here. And then what you're going to want to do is you want to go ahead and make your way over to your iPhone and you want to download the Smart Switch application on this device. So like I said, it's very basic. It's a basic application to use and download. So make your way over here, click on the Smart Switch mobile application. And once you have it downloaded, just like this one, you can go and open up the app here too. It may require a few things, so just give it a few permissions, like contacts and all the other things that it needs access to to actually send over to the other device. So I'm going to allow full access, camera, whatever it needs, I'm going to go ahead and allow it. And then it's ready to go. So now what we can do is we can click let's go. And then it's going to either require us to actually go through and like connect it you know, manually like this. So if you don't have one, you can also transfer wirelessly right here. So you can just click on that. And then you can scan a QR code. So now what you can do is if you want to go ahead on this phone, if you want to send data or receive data, in this case, let's say we want to you know, receive text messages or whatever on this phone, we can choose where we want to come from. So here we can choose, you know, we want to come from basically the iPhone, iPad. So now we want to go ahead and get data either from iCloud or transfer wirelessly. We're going to transfer wirelessly right here. Then it's going to take a few seconds to get that QR code. And then you can go and scan this QR code right here, just like so. And what's going to happen is it's going to allow us to go and connect to this device. And then we're going to be able to choose which specific data we want to go ahead and actually transfer over. Now, there's lots of things that we can switch over to our device. So keep that in mind. And once it's connected, it'll allow us to go ahead. You know, it's already allowing us to change over our you know, cameras so or our calendars. So I'll just keep add only for now, whatever, just for the base of this video. And now we come into this panel. So now there's four different things we can choose. So in this case, we can choose whichever ones we want to. So, you know, in this case, we can choose contacts, calendar, images, videos. So if we want to click transfer, we can go and transfer over those things right now. Now, you can transfer whatever you want to, like I said, but these are exactly the things that you can transfer as of this point. And from here, you can transfer really whatever you want to. And that's pretty much how to do it. It's a super basic process, really doesn't take too much time. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video.